Hi, uh, in this video of the talent series, we're going to talk about how you can create a campaign, it's manual interventions. Uh, so we have data stewardship. So in data stewardship, we have different type of campaigns. We have arbitration campaign, we have resolution campaign, and we have merging campaigns and others as well. Uh, but in order to create a campaign, in the task, first we need to create a data model. Okay. How you can create a data model? You can add a data model here and once you add a data model, I can name it customer correction model and I can add few rules, uh, quality rules here as well. And But before that, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say uh, we can, you know, add the columns that we want to give it to the end user. So for example, I, I'm say I'm going to say that please add the customer number and that is an integer um, because if you see my um, data in my data inventory. I'm talking about the data that we have been using throughout this series. Uh, so this particular data set that I have, uh, if I see a sample of that. So I have the column customer number, which is basically the identification. Then I'm going to add customer, which is a text field. And then I'm going to send the emails. I'm going to send the email so that it can be corrected. Okay. So I'm coming back to my data model back here on the stewardship. Okay. So uh, I can create a data model by just adding it here and I'm going to say customer correction and I'm going to add an attribute customer number. I'm going to call it customer number. So this particular attribute, this name should be exactly the name in the text uh, in the data uh, that we have. So uh, at the moment, we cannot create the data model from an existing data set. We have to create that manually. But this identifier should exactly match the column that I'm going to send it to, to this particular data. Okay. So and this one is an integer and then I'm going to add another attribute. I'm going to say this is going to be um, customer, which is the name of the customer. So I'm going to say customer and this one is going to be a text field, which is fine. Okay. And then I'm going to add another one and this time around I'm going to add email okay and i'm going to name it email and i'm going to type that as uh, in it's an email so i'm going to say that can you just get the email okay so i have added these three i'm going to save the model now i have saved the model now i can create a campaign i'm going to say here click add campaign and i see that i say I just uh, add the name customer correction. I'm going to call it or I'm going to call it email correction. Okay, so I can choose the campaign. So it gives me a brief type. You know, the resolution is um, what this one arbitration is custom question. You ask the custom question to the end users or the, uh, the stewards and then grouping is classification of the records. Uh, based on the custom question, combining the multiple records into a single record. Okay, kind of creating a golden record for that purpose. Okay, so I'm going to create a resolution campaign here. And I can make it time enabled, which necessarily means that I can ask for the response within stipulated time. And I can, uh, this is my campaign campaign honor, I can add multiple campaign honor. And I can add a data steward. I can add multiple roles. Uh, let's say I call this one as approver role. Okay, so I can add more roles here as well. Uh, and then I can add the person who is going to have the responsibility for this one. And then I'm going to add the data model I've just created. As soon as I do that, I see these things here. So you see what is editable. So essentially, I just want these fields to be customer number and customer just to be visible and where I want email to be editable. Sometimes it can happen that I have multiple columns. 
uh, like I want to send this data to somewhere else downstream. Uh, in this case, I want to merge that with the existing one, but if we want to send that to the other stream, uh, I might want to have the complete data. In the, my model, I have my multiple columns, all the columns that were originally in my data, and I, I just hide them, I do not show them, okay? I can have that. And I can add a validation step here as well, and let's say, okay, and I'm gonna add a role here, so the first, person is going to have this role and this role uh, these roles that are assigned to these people and then I'm going to say add the campaign now the campaign is successfully created uh, but if I uh, I have already created another one as well so if I click on there I can see some data in there uh, but if I open this campaign I do not see any data the reason for that is there is no data so now we're going to see that how we can send the data and enable the tasks here as well. okay so in order to do that what we're going to do is i'm going to go to my pipeline designer back to the pipeline designer and if you remember i have created the pipeline if you haven't you don't remember or you haven't seen this video uh, please go and check this video and what i'm going to do is i'm going to delete this for now i actually tested that so uh, you will see uh, in the last video we have created this plan and this was blank. So I'm gonna, uh, so what's happening here, what I'm saying if I see this filter, what is this doing is the valid email records are going there, uh, the people with the valid email, but if it, the record is invalid, it's gonna go to this particular route, okay. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna say save it somewhere and when in a destination, I need to add campaign. If I click on campaign, I can choose the campaign that I want to do. So I'm going to go for this one. Okay. And then there are multiple ways. So I can delete the existing records. It might be, you know, the, the correction has been made. I want to delete the records actually. In this case, I want to insert the records. And what will be their default state? I'm going to say new one and it should be assigned to me and the priority is medium and I can have more uh, tax. Okay. So I'm going to save this one. And then I'm going to run the campaign. So it's going to run as usual uh, in the background. We have successfully finished the pipeline and now I'm going to go to my campaign in the data steward part and if I see this was the campaign I've created I am on the tasks so if I go in this one so I can see there are 16 records and there are email addresses so I can edit them now and let's say this was the error it any it, it can be in any error which needed the manual intervention uh, um, maybe it was a totally wrong email or it was the wrong phone number someone has pointed that out or uh, by any other mean so I'm gonna um, add those values here I'm gonna say exit as this was a blank email so I'm gonna say that okay so the next thing is after doing these changes we're gonna lock these records for validation and I'm gonna say okay validate those records so they are now validated okay and now if I want to use it somewhere or if I want to send it to somewhere else what I can do is I can create a pipeline and as a source I can also add the campaign as a source as well so all the data in the campaign is going to show in here And let's say we're gonna filter we can filter the data we're gonna say okay you know only send the data downstream which actually have the status corrected or validated or some something like that we send the data to the destination and this destination then it can be uh, an external source uh, as an example I can say that okay you know send the data to a seek my SQL database so store it again locally or uh, I can do other uh, actions with that uh, in this one here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say that 
you use TDS state, so which is basically uh, the state of the current, it should be equal to validate or resolve. So, only then send this data to the next one. Okay. So, this way I can uh, create a batch and I can. Uh, so, uh, you saw this pipeline uh, uh, we can use the stewardship where the manual intervention is required and we can uh, then combine that with the pipeline designer uh, to add in the data and get that thing done. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, stay tuned for more videos. There will be uh, another video where we are going to cover the overall scope of the uh, pipe um, talent cloud and we are going to talk about bit of bit about scheduling.